And this is what powers this fucking ship. This is why I think this is more of an airship than a spacecraft. Like, this ship had to have been de specially designed for this planet, because it is powered by this planet's uh, naturally occurring lightning, and it can only fly, as far as we know, in the area where there are always violent storms. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's not comforting at all. And it's all octagony, because as we know, because as we know, if it has like hexagons on it, it me it means that it's futuristic. In the future, everything will have hexagons on it. Remember that. It might save your life one day. What the fuck? What am I stuck on? Oh god! Okay. This walkway is evil! Evil! And back out here, and thank god, because this place is way more cool to look at. And there's lots of little lit light lit up bits blah, on this, so I wonder if there are rooms in there? Although, why would there would be rooms in there is anybody's guess. And I also wonder what these big things are for. Are they for air braking? Because that seems kind of counterproductive if you want to remain airborne to slow down your massive craft, because it has to take a lot of power to propel this thing. So they can't be for air braking. Maybe there are solar panels on the other side of it. Maybe this half of the ship is always facing the sun. Or maybe not, because that sounds stupid on the... You know, having said that, I might want to ignore that. Well, actually, no. Perhaps that is... Of course, if this ship has to keep pace with the sun of this planet, then it'd probably be very easy to find. And they made a point of saying that this ship was hard to locate, so... If it's reliant on solar power, that would make it kind of easy to spot. So, you know, you, you would always know exactly where you had to look for it. Like, I imagine from orbit, it would be roughly quick to um, pick out amongst the storm. So, what are these things? Discuss. And here we have another firefight with the um, Shadow Broker's forces. Forces which I must imagine by the end of this DLC, oh god, will be very depleted. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's what I'm doing, taking cover, and some bastard just fucking used a flash bomb. Fuck you! Okay, I thought that was Liara for a second, so I didn't fire. Squad mates in this game do have a habit of jumping in front of your guns. Especially if those guns are missile launchers. And then bitching about getting shot. Vault over it. There we go. Vaulting over all this shit reminds me of Gears. I haven't played Gears 2 yet, have I? I want to get on that. And of course, we have a bunch of dumbasses here who want to ambush us, but we've got the high ground. This asshole almost got thrown off the fucking ship for his stupidity. Easy shot. Oh, apparently there was someone behind me, but they got picked off by Thane. That was a stupid use of my throw ability. Melee! 25% melee, bitches. I imagine it has to be hard to keep your footing on this thing, though you wouldn't know it from the way Shepard and the rest are walking across it. 
perhaps there's a perhaps it has artificial gravity on the surface of it I don't know maybe just maybe oh hi Love the Matlock rifle. Hate the name, love the rifle. Oh, this motherfucker wants to use a missile launcher. I'm gonna show you something about missiles. That's fucking how you use a missile launcher. And we are nearly done. We are nearly, um, there. We have nearly reached our goal on this, um, giant hulk of a spaceship. Can't go through there. Excuse me. We have to get up here and access this dealie over here. And move yet another large chunk of this ship. Or a small chunk, rather. One has to wonder how the uh, moving the large chunk earlier affected this ship's aerodynamics. No wonder they know we're here. Like, okay, we this ship just like dropped like a hundred feet, and somebody's out on the hull messing with the fucking thing. Not exactly the most subtle approach, but then again. This is Shepard. Shepard doesn't do subtle. Shepard headbutts Krogans. Oh, that guy got thrown off or was dancing a ballet. Fuck off. Owie! Owie! How the fuck did that happen? Oh, somebody got thrown off. Oh, but I lost him. Oh, who the fuck did that? Leora! Your goddamn black hole is electrocuting me. Tell it to stop. I'm gonna get the fuck away from it. Be fucking ridiculous, Liara. Let's see. Well, nothing I can do over here. I gotta go here. Okay, now that her fucking black hole is gone. Gotta get up here. And here we move another humongous part of the ship. Oh, the thing just drops like 500 feet. Again, again, real things. These are real out here, and real in the sense that these are action. This is actually part of the large ship model that we're walking on right now. It's not a separate backdrop or anything. That is actually there, and it looks awesome. The well worth the money, Shadow Broker. Have to say. Not even a guardrail. I bet the broker's agents love patrolling the hull. Damn right it is. And I love that they're actually mentioning the non-OSHA compliance of the environment they're in. This is a future where they are not bound by idiotic design decisions like in Star Trek. Not that, not that Star Trek is bad. I'm a big fan of Star Trek, but goddamn... It is a well-known and documented ocean nightmare, Star Trek. It is a life of terrors that the Starfleet crew lives. Then again, the amount of things they go through, it's a life of terrors either way. You know, so their own environment might as well be trying to kill them because everything else is. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck was that? 
Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. <laughs> I think I bumped my mic against something, but fuck knows what. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one, anyway. Oh, don't give me a lift, Liara. I'll hold. Are you sure that shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them. Tell me you tested it. No time to talk. Got them. Oh, that's wonderful. We have a lot of banter between Shepard and Liara here. Most of it is hilarious. Oh shit! I'm sure it won't be much longer. Remember the old days when you could just slap Omni Gel on everything? That security has made a lot of people unhappy. Look out, more on the way. Mr. Lightning! <laughs> Mr. Thunder! Watch out, flashbang! Goddamn! Mr. <laughs> Lightning! Oh, somebody likes rockets. Oh, this is people flying all over the fucking place here. All these days. Oh, fuck. Fuck this shit. Let's see. Locust. Spray and pray. Don't fail me now. What the hell? It's got shields. <laughs> Their attacks are disorganized. They'd be more effective if they all attacked at once. Please don't give the mercs ideas. Yes, please don't. Okay, maybe I should switch back to that matlock. Shield your eyes. Enemy bionics on the field. Oh god, I was looking away. Oh, melee. Love the Matlock rifle. The next wave looks like a big one. You just had to give them tactical advice. <laughs> but now there'll be fewer left to see. Keep dreaming, to Sony. Fly! Oh, I said fly, goddammit. Who shot me on the missile? You know what? Okay, he's an idiot. He shot himself with the light. I don't know where the fucking flashbang is. Got them! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Dead! There! The hatch is open! Fuck it, finally. 